Hey everybody, I'm John and thank you so much for joining me here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. As always, don't forget, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified every time I put out a new review and every time I'm starting up a new live stream. This is another one of our quick sample reviews. So, if you haven't seen one of these before, again, we've got boxes full of 24 different samples. The samples are made up of whiskeys sent from distilleries, whiskeys traded with other people in the whiskey world, and of whiskeys I've already reviewed in the past that I held for a few months after the bottle was opened, put in the bottle, so we can kind of see how these whiskeys are aging. So if I have reviewed this whiskey before, I'll put the link up here in the corner so you can watch the original review first. But without further ado, let's get some whiskey poured. As always, we've got our random number generator ready here. I'm gonna hit the button. We've got 24 samples programmed in, and it came up with 12. Sample number 12. So this is a box of 12. This last one will be 12. Looking away, cracking the bottle. Pour ourselves a little bit of whiskey here. Ooh, almost knocked that off the table. Let's not do that, huh? All right, the nose. Hmm, it's got a rich, fruity nose. Maybe the slightest touch of oak, but definitely some darker fruits, some, some like the uh, brown sugar. Not getting much in the way of lighter fruits. Not getting a lot of that oaky, woody type character on it. The nose is relatively sweet. Not too much of a burn, seems a little bit lighter, so maybe we're not incredibly high on the proof, but let's get into the taste. Cheers. So pretty light on the palate, a little bit drying. It is the first sip, so we'll see how this goes after into the next one, but a little bit of that dark fruit up front. I'm left with some bitter kind of nutty character. Almost has a hint of like a bean product to it maybe, but let's get another taste on the palate here. See where we're at. Yeah, on the palate, there's a bit more woody character than there is on the nose. You don't get quite as much of the fruit. You get more of the uh, brown sugar characters. You get more of the bitterness from the oak. You get, you're left with this kind of this nutty flavor on the palate. It's good. Proof-wise, it's not too high. I'm figuring maybe we're, we're around 100 maybe, 100 proof. All right, now, I mean, my palate's acclimating to the whiskey a little bit more, but now in the front of the tongue, I'm getting a lot more of the dark fruits. The, um, it's not so much cherry, it's, it's almost toward the berry side, like a plum, a, uh, I mean, like raspberry, those type notes. Nice fruits, nice dark fruits, not much light fruit. And then again, as it goes over the palate, you kind of switch into the mid palate where you've got the caramels, the brown sugars, and then quickly it goes to the back where you've got the more of the like bitter oak characters, slightly nutty. Um, it's good whiskey. As the caveat I always give with these quick reviews is take the, the rating with a grain of salt. I've spent just a couple minutes with this whiskey. So you should never judge a whiskey based on just a few minutes. But these are quick reviews. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what we're working with with this whiskey in particular. So for this whiskey, I think it's solid, I think it's drinkable. I think the proof is good. Um, I could maybe use just a touch more complexity, um, maybe a few more characters to play with there, to pick from, to look for. Um, and maybe those characters are there. I don't know, you know, maybe you need to spend a little more time with the whiskey. But I'm gonna give this whiskey a solid 84. I think it's good, let's see what it is. This is, oh wow. Bell Mead Bourbon Cast Strength Reserve. So this is really good, guys, um, and this is at 111.4 proof. And yet again, this is what, our seventh quick sample review, and I have not gotten a whiskey I've reviewed before. But this is tasty whiskey. It's got good flavors. Um, like I said, maybe I could use just a touch more complexity, but I've again, I've spent all of 
th three minutes with the whiskey. So I'm gonna sit with this a little more and definitely do some more tasting and see how I feel about it after. But I think it's really good, got some good flavor. I like the flavors that are there. I like the balance of those flavors. So I'm a fan of this. Um, I think the, the cash strength, the Bellmead cash strength, goes for somewhere in the $60 range. So for a cash strength whiskey, that's a pretty good value. Um, they definitely source this whiskey. So um, I don't, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure where they source it from. Maybe it's an MGP or something. But um, <clears throat> anyways, if you've had the Bell Mead cash strength, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Oh, as always, just to let you know, this was provided by the distillery, Nelson's Green Briar. Thank you for sending that out. I really appreciate it. It's great whiskey, and I'd love to be drinking some more of this. So thank you for sending it. Um, as always, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blindwhiskeyreviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.